everyone, my name is Peter Viewer, I'm on the channel today. Today I'm making this video to address Blaze Entertainment directly, you know. If you don't know who Blaze Entertainment are, they're the people behind the Evercade Retro, and if you don't know what that is, uh, look it up. It's a handheld which lets you play retro games, it's really good, you should buy one. Uh, and very much like, my whole point is, I know these folks are currently, are probably really busy at me, you know, I know like, Andrew and Jacob and everyone that works at Blaze is probably very busy working on deals to get more cartridges made and working on the current cartridges they've got in production, the five that have been confirmed, you know, like the Code Master Collection and whatnot. So, uh, this video is just me uh, just directly and saying what I'd like to see from in 2021 and beyond. Uh, first of all, uh, I don't mean to sound greedy, but I would like to see them bring in, bring in after Code Masters, I would like to see them bring in another like large developer or publisher. I don't care who it is, it could be LucasArts, Sega, Konami, Capcom, Tai Taito, Square Enix, whoever they want. I'm not fuzzy. As long as it's more games, like more shoot 'em ups, beat 'em ups, all that sort of stuff, uh, that'd be great. And you know, I have uh, I've got nothing bad to say about any of those companies really. You know, I wouldn't even mind if they they brought over some Ubisoft games like Rayman. I just wouldn't mind. But uh, the main point in this video is also. I want to say, like, I think this is a remarkable bit, bit of kit. You know, you can play... I think the current number is about 217 games now. That, well, they've at least got announced for it, over 18 cartridges. That includes games like Pac-Man, Worms. You know, it's got a bunch of Atari classics. It's got Burger Time. It's got a bunch of indie titles and whatnot. So there's quite a lot of games to play. Uh, my whole uh, thing is... I, would mi I wouldn't mind if... Well, something I'd like them to see is we all know that recently, you know, we've had like the Console Wars documentary on the CBS stream service in the US. We've had we've had the um, high school mini series, uh, talking about video games and whatnot, on Netflix. All uh, most in most countries, I believe, I believe it's like Universal. I'm not sure. Uh, and we also had a documentary recently made about the fall of um, what was it Midway Arcade, who was the original creator of Mortal Kombat. And sort of my whole, my whole idea is, this might sound stupid to a lot of people, but I'm thinking what Blaze should do as a way to promote this doctor, as, as a way to promote the Evercade and the games, and you know, be able to make more deals for, with more studios and more developers and more publishers, would simply be, you know, what they should do. They should go to someone like Disney or Netflix or, I don't know, just go to a big company one of the big film or TV companies, and go, hey, what if we make a docu documentary or docu-series showing how we created this uh, gaming handheld, uh, how we're trying to re lead a retro revolution? Because I honestly do think it's a really great uh, piece of kit. You know, like, as you can see in this photo, I've got six of the cartridges. I got the premium pack, we came with uh, three, and I bought uh, the other three separately. I do intend to collect all of the uh, titles in this collection. Well, I'm not in the collection, but, you know, in the set. I want to have a complete set, you know. I don't really collect a lot of games. Like, I collect a few games for my Switch, and I collect... Well, I don't even collect... I used to collect games from Xbox. I don't do that anymore. I just download the games. I use Game Pass. But with this, I, I want them to keep bringing out more titles and whatnot. So I think the best way from, to promote it would be if they could, you know, work with someone like Netflix or Disney or someone... And make a documentary saying about the time and effort they went into making the system, you know, all the, the trials and tribulations they went through, and like getting all the components, working out all the uh, emulators and everything, making sure it ran, the games ran properly and whatnot, and then making the deals with the developers and whatnot. Talking about the reception, talking about, you know, what their goals are for the future. And honestly, I do think I wouldn't mind uh, watching it, I wouldn't mind seeing people talk about it. Because that's the thing, is. It could be a really great way to promote the system, and then you know it could it could be them putting it out there. People, people, you know, people watch a documentary or something. And they're like, oh, that's that's interesting. I might go and buy one of them, and then they're able to sell more units, more games, and whatnot. And then they can attract more developers, and publishers. Like, I know I think like the only other developer I know that they, they've had they held uh, talks with to bring their games to DFK at one point was Sega, but I believe the Sega deal fell through. I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, but I do know that I do believe uh, that they should do this, and this is only addressing addressing Blaze directly. 
you know, and publicly. The reason I'm doing it publicly is because uh, I want to get more people to, you know, I want to get people to agree. And if people agree with me and think that they should do this, hopefully enough people will say about it and Blaze will think, you know what, that's a good idea. We'll pitch this idea to someone, you know, pitch it to Disney, pitch it to Netflix. I think, to be fair, the best one to pitch to would probably be Netflix in this situation because they've already done something like this before. And they have and they have a lot more they have millions of more users than any other stream service and they're available in most countries. So I reckon that this that would be a great idea for them. And honestly I do want to see the Evercade succeed. I want to see it become like a a, a a bigger platform. I want them to get more titles and whatnot. Because that's the thing that they've even said that they're focusing on quality titles. And if they can sell more units and whatnot, why not? Why not do this? I don't know. Just this is my thoughts, guys. If you agree, please send this to Blaze. Please talk. Please message him. You know, please ask him. Don't don't obviously harass anyone. Don't say, oh yeah, you know, you better do this, otherwise I'm going to kill you. Uh, just be like, hey, I've seen this video. Uh, why don't you do this? You can get more promotion. You can get more people to. You can get more developers on your side. And honestly, I do genuinely think it could work. Anyway, these are just my thoughts, and you know, as far as anyone's concerned, I'm just a dumb 17-year-old living in uh, living in a basement. So, there's that. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, to that stuff, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Event sometime next year, probably.